You know, I humbly accept the nomination. I want to thank God for the many blessings that he's bestowed upon all of us. I also want to thank God for President Trump. You know, the president that I'm proud to say that I voted for and strongly support. And let me tell you why the other side doesn't like him. It's because he's a leader. A leader tells you what he's going to do, and then he does it. That is a true leader. You know, unlike President Trump, I support legal immigration, not illegal immigration. As an as American, I support our president when he says we need to protect our borders. As governor, I will work with President Trump on sanctuary cities, and I hope these words echo across the state. I do not support sanctuary cities. You know, as Americans, we know that it's the Constitution that protects our freedom and our rights. No one gets extra protections or extra rights. As governor, I will stop these un-American, unlawful sanctuary cities. Whatever it means, whatever I have at my disposal, I can assure you of that. You know, in the last 44 years, we've elected only one, only one Republican into the governor's office. Why is that? You know, I'm tired of losing, aren't you? Haven't you had enough of losing? How about we start winning? You know, a wise man shared this with me. If you do what you've always done, you will get what you always got. If you want different results, you have to do something different. You know, President Trump proved that voters want a new voice, a message that speaks to them, and that you don't have to spend the most money to win. Are we, are we going to stand and let our great state become the ugly twin sister of California? No, I don't think, though, I don't think so. We're gonna do something. You know, this selection, is about, it's a battle of ideas and values. It's about fighting for the soul of Colorado. This is a fight that is for families, our business, our future, and it starts right now, right here. Because if not now, then when? If not us, then who? I say right now, this is our time. You know, I'm not a man of great power, great education, or great wealth, but I am a man of a great God with a passion to help his people, to change the course of our state, to make a better life for all of us. Let's fight for a state where the generations of Colorado are working together to ensure that our state remains vibrant and beautiful where small businesses are flourishing, creating jobs, and every community is thriving. As governor, I will promote, protect, and preserve the various economies and the different ways of life that make Colorado the great state that it is. And I will protect the great heritage and the history of rural Colorado. My conservative values Pro-life, protecting the Constitution and the Second Amendment, following the rule of law, protecting our borders, less regulation, less regulation and limited government. I'm a husband and a father. I've been married for 30 years. I come from humble beginnings. My parents worked long hours in the fields to provide for us boys. And my parents taught me two very important values, compassion and integrity. I am a small business owner. I'm the former mayor of Parker. I was elected at the age of 27 and with both the mayor and the city manager at the same time. I am the former president of the Denver Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I am the former director 
of the Colorado United States Small Business Administration. Do you know what our path to victory is? Let me tell you, we need 15% more Hispanic and unaffiliated voters. If we do that, we can win. The values of the Hispanic community are conservative. I know how to communicate, engage with, and win the Hispanic vote. I am one of them. Unaffiliated voters, they want a strong leader, one that can solve problems with compassion and empathy, someone who truly cares about Colorado. Our state's history is filled with innovators and trailblazers. Individuals are known for being problem solvers, not problem observers. So let me solve a couple of problems. Strangling regulations on small business. I will remove the handcuffs known as regulations. The state regulators love to enforce regulations on small businesses so they can spend their hard-earned money on things that make regulators happy. That needs to stop. Small business is the lifeblood of every community. <laughs> Education. Not everyone's gonna go to college. Not everyone can afford to go to college. It is time to reallocate educational dollars to establish classes that teach real life skills to students like auto mechanics, wood shop, cosmetology, hospitality. We need our kids to be job ready on day one, not college ready. A roads, it's time for us to get serious about building roads and repairing our bridges. Where do we get the money? We reduce the fraud, waste, and abuse within the $30 billion state budget. And we put the money to build roads and pair our bridges. The money is there. Believe me, don't you buy the lie that the state has no money. Believe me, it's got plenty of money. I will fight to ensure that you continue to keep more of your hard-earned money by protecting the taxpayer's bill of rights, better known as Tabor. I will dive on the sword to protect Tabor. Together, let us reignite the torch of freedom and the resurgence of the American dream into the mindset of all Coloradans. President Trump tells us, no dream is too big. No challenge is too great. Nothing we want for our future is beyond our reach. It is time for every Republican across the state to band together as one voice, to stand strong, to fight for the future of our state, a future we can all be proud of. Because if we don't, we will continue to lose the soul of Colorado. It is time to do something. Let us unite and stand up. United, we win. Divided, we lose. Say it with me. United, we win. Divided, we lose. One more time. United, we win. Divided, we lose. My name is Greg Lopez. I need your support. Together we can win. May God bless you and your family. May God bless Colorado and the great and the United States of America. Thank you.